for Mutation Creation. Today uh, I've got four animals going out, so I'll just show you what I do and, and, and how I sort of, you know, package everything and, and make the boxes and how I package and, and exactly what I do. Uh, before we get into that, huge shout out to Beautiful Mutations from Denmark. Definitely not slacking on the back. Definitely not slacking on the Definitely back. Not. Oh, you got that closer here. You already wore it already? Look yeah. at that. You just got it yesterday. Inked balls. On the back. What an awesome. Don't move yet. Don't move yet. No, don't worry. I'm not going. Okay, I'm scared. I'm just trying to get in to look because it's so much detail and it's awesome. You're scared. Go ahead. Scared. I wore this during the podcast yesterday too. Did you? Yep. See? Well, there you go. Well, everybody on here, uh, can, you know, because they're on YouTube, you, you can only watch the page. Uh, Watch the the podcast if you're on you if you holy moly. So look, if you guys are on YouTube, you can only watch the podcast if you're on Patreon. A week before, it will be coming on here next week. So, so everybody on here wouldn't have noticed that you were wearing it on the podcast because they have no access to it. Only Patreon members. You gotta put Jeez. them on it. Why? Huh? You gotta look into anyway, the secret. <laughs> where were we? Okay, so I print off all the labels. So all the labels that were sent to me and what I do is I just cut them you want to make sure they're all the same way <laughs> I did that I triple checked don't need those just leave that there for now so now I have my four shipping labels and the reason why I cut them sometimes I'll just tape them right on or they just go nicely in this folder you don't even have to cut them. You can fold them in half and shove them in. I'm just used to cutting them. So, I've already pre-made this box and I'm gonna make a few more. So I've got this box going out next. And we're not gonna get into all the package, you know. Uh, we'll just do a couple. So different size boxes. This here is known as a kit two. This here is known as a kit one. And what's great about them is if you notice up here, they're all broken down. And then takes, instead of having all the big massive boxes lined up, they're just like this. So I simply just do this. And as per instructions, okay, probably gonna run out of this. Always, always, always run one down the center. And then two other ones. And I overlap sort of the one just really makes the bottom and it's suggested it's suggested to do this and it's also written on all the paperwork that Sam from Reptile Express provides pretty sure it says here use three strips of shipping tape down the middle of the box to keep it closed securely which is awesome he gives you packaging uh, sorry, uh, you have the packaging or if you don't have the packaging you order it He'll ship it to you for the, for a cost. I always have enough on stock uh, And then depending on where you're shipping to and the day because today it could be hot tomorrow It could be freezing cold they go when they ship this to you the day of or the, the earlier in, in the day before you're shipping Telling you how to package it put a heat pack in don't put a heat pack in put two heat packs in put three heat packs in also, where to put the heat packs. Sometimes it's both in the middle. Sometimes it's one up, uh, on the left side, one on the opposite side, one on the, on the one side in the middle, one on the top. You gotta follow the instructions. Here, no heat pack recommended due to 35 degrees Celsius daytime high. No need. It tells you all the other things, where to place the stickers. Also, don't poke any holes through the box. Sometimes it says, put holes in the box. Sometimes it doesn't follow the instructions. So that being said, this is done. I simply take one of these pieces, shove it in the bottom. Then you take a long one. Obviously it has to go on this side. It can't go on this side. Just letting you know, you never know. When we have to put, uh, you know, warning labels on, on little things like that, uh, you know those little beads that come in the moisture that yeah that and, and tide pods yeah don't like you know so i'm just saying that like it's amazing so box is done then the lid 
That's all we need. So, that being said, this one here is going to go out, and I'm going to go run and, and get the snake. It's right here. So this one's going out. Because she's a little bigger, I'm going to be putting her, instead of into a bag, I'm going to be putting her into a container here. And inside the container, at the bottom, okay, I have, um, I believe it's called Diamond Dry. It's a substrate, so if it does urinate, it'll absorb it. Um, so they're not really sitting on it, so it's an absorbent. Uh, I used to tape it, but now what I end up doing, I just put an elastic this way and an elastic this way. Before, we used to tape three or four sides so the animal doesn't get out, just, just helps. And then normally when I have a heat pack, I have shipping paper. So I'll take the shipping paper and I fold it and I put it nicely inside like so, because with the heat tape or the heat pad, um, which are these things here, different, you know, 40 and 60, we'll tape it to the side as instructed, okay? And it asks for some paper to sort of make a barrier between that and the animal. So we put this in, and that way, when you put the animal in, it has a barrier between the heat tape. But because, well not the heat tape, sorry, the heat pad, but because we don't have any heat, I'm just gonna simply place the animal like this, in there like so. Okay, and then what I do is I take this stuff, because I don't want this thing moving around like so, while it's shipping because once it leaves here I, I've heard major major stories and I've seen things and you've seen boxes come in you just want to simply take this you want to make crumples and I'm just gonna stick two of them in on either side and what that does okay is now when I push it over Now it secures the animal. Well, the animal will still move because it needs movement, but the whole container ain't gonna be sliding if the guys are throwing stuff around or what have you. So nice and securely packed. If there's a, you know, if there is a heat pad that's on the top, you also wanna put another layer, fold it on top to keep the barrier between the heat pad and the animal. Um, but because we don't have that, it's not necessary. I'm just gonna stick that on top. Have a sticker set shove on top like so same thing one and yeah I use my teeth makes it faster even though scissors are sitting right here someone's gonna make a comment you shouldn't use your teeth I know I've been hearing that for forever I'm gonna do the same thing as I did on the top oh, sorry on the bottom so one in the center, and then I do one over top, so it over, so it's basically one solid piece, top and bottoms like that. Then I simply just open up the shipping holder, label holder, shove it in. And like I said, I cut mine, you can just fold them in half. Doesn't really matter, as long as they can read and scan and then I'm gonna put this sort of in the middle so you can still see this side up and I'm gonna do the bottom first so like so and then I simply just do this and like that box is all ready to go there's one We'll do one more. Uh, yeah, you know what? I gotta make them anyways, so. I'll show you the other size box. Same thing. Doesn't take long. One in the middle.
two and three is recommended. There's that, push down, top and bottom, sides. Now these kits here, they're only made for summertime when it's warm out. Do not use them and they will and you will be told not to use them during the winter because it's hard to put a heat pack in and if you do put a heat pack in it's it's too closed I mean it doesn't have room it will overheat uh, you know there's probably other reasons I follow the instructions what Sam and, and, and everybody at Reptile Express put on here if they say do not use this in the winter do not use this in the winter there's a reason they don't just figure hey I don't want people to use these today there's a reason behind everything that they do. Please follow what they say. It is not hard. You know, your first time, you may be a little, oh, I'm a little worried about the snake. Is it going to breathe because there's no holes? Yes, I've shipped hundreds and hundreds, maybe even, don't know if I've shipped a thousand packages with them, but I've shipped a lot with them over the last 10, 12 years. Never had an incident. Listen to what they recommend. And that's that. Okay, this one here, this one here, oh, it's going to, Nocturnal Obsession Exotics. Rory out in Alberta. Fresh shed for you, Rory. <laughs> nice one big piece of shed. This is a leopard female, 100% het VPI exanthic, 66% het albino. So a beautiful leopard, het VPI, 66% het albino female. So she's a little smaller as well. If she was uh, maybe, you know, a, a quarter more, I would have went with a bigger box. So just do this. Now instead of tying and stuff, because I'm shipping, I want to make sure that the animal does not escape or the... the uh, the tie that I do gets uh, unwound. I just put a zip tie on. Cut this piece off. Animal is now packaged, you know, perfect. I can place inside here. So if you notice, the animal has lots of room. But because I don't want it moving around so much, I'm going to take one of this, one of these, pop it in half. Crumple it loosely, just so I can fill the void at the top, sort of like that. So I'm not squishing it down. There's still tons of room for the animal to move around. It's just to give it that extra little movement so that they're not being thrown around and bumping around. I mean, who knows what they go through, but doing this, I feel more secure and it's recommended. It says also right on here in the instructions, use crumpled up newspaper or unprinted like myself to fill in the void space around the animals to prevent them from being tossed around during transit. Follow what they say. There's a reason why. Put that in. Sticker pack. One, two, three, and four. Let's see if I can get through without opening a new one. One. Two, I think I'm gonna make it. Awesome. And always, I don't know, I, I mean, it's a little tip. I mean, you guys probably do it also. Always fold the end so you know where it is. Because if it doesn't, I'm like, no, my nails, I can't do. I give it to Austin, waste of time. <laughs> Leave a fold. Then what we do, open up the sleeve. Pop this in. And just find out where, where we want to put it. Um, yeah, I'll probably do it like that. So take this. Hmm. It's going to cover up some of the animals. It's going to cover that up. Wasn't thinking there. 
Let me do it like this. So there, don't cover the live animals up. Here, I'm gonna get away with it to about here. So, peel this off. There we go, box number two. Live animals, awesome label, Reptile Express, this side up, live animals all the way around. It's perfect. So there's two out of the four, and I figured, uh, you know, I'll do the other two off camera, just to give you a little bit. Oh, Austin's pointing. You can say stuff, man. Yes. He can talk, but he doesn't like the point. <clears throat> here on my desk, these are the amazing. Bring these over here, fully. There you go. These were made by Ashley at Pretty Little Python. You can find her on Instagram. I had these. Wait, that's not a part of it. This <laughs> is dust. Yeah, it does get dirty in here and I don't dust. I should. But yeah, all these were uh, made. I asked her, I, I saw her make a sculpture out of clay, little necklace, and I'm like, oh, can you make this? And I, of course I asked for my freeway stuff, but just awesome. Some of the detail, like the little flaps, you know, little blood. This one here has the goop. Where's the goop running down the side? Oh. Yeah, like just it really, he's so sick. And this is the first time she's did anything like this, just from a custom order. And I am super, super happy and pleased. So yeah, thanks for pointing that out, Austin. They stay on my desk. I get to look at them and enjoy them all the time. And um, yeah, so uh, also, everyone on Patreon got a taste of our very, very first uh, podcast, which I thought would have had a little, few more hiccups. But, uh, ooh, let's see that wish. Mm -hmm. He said a wish blew in. That's looking cool. So, um, yeah, we did our first uh, podcast live on YouTube uh, for Patreon members. Uh, next week it'll be live. Um, oh, it won't be live. It'll be, uh, uh, it's already recorded, so people can watch it. We'll be putting that up for the public on YouTube. Um, we're going to actually, uh, in this video, have some clips of it with um, our, I guess our, I guess it's called our intro beat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're calling it uh, My Channel, My Content. It says we're live. Let's see. My Channel. Hey, everyone. What's up, everybody? Austin! Oh, I gotta come in. I gotta come in. Austin, man, fucking scream at me. Talk louder, dude. Oh, Just start talking like this. Okay, guys, what's up? How you guys doing, man? This is Austin here. So when someone's saying, you know what, Billy, I think you should be in My channel, my content. Yeah, I think we're going to start doing lives every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. You know, it's not in stone yet, but I'm pretty sure that's where we're going. So the next one for uh, Patreon members will be uh, this coming Monday and every week when we release when we do the new one we'll release the old one so you'll be a week behind but we're not only talking about snakes we're talking about personal stuff things on the internet uh, accomplishments that people do uh, talking about uh, uh, you know snake stuff also <laughs> so hope you like that hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, see you next video